State UCLA men's basketball lost to number 19 Illinois. How in the world did that happen? Well, first of all, you can't just say Illinois outscored UCLA in the second half. That's the only reason. There's more to the story than that. I mean, Illinois scored 51 points to 33 in the second half, but that's not the whole story. Uh uh. In fact, Illinois made 27 shots out of 51 overall in the game, 12 from 25 from 3, 13 for 19 on free throws. They had 38 rebounds in the game, 19 assists, 8 steals, 4 blocks, 21 turnovers, 17 fouls. While well, UCLA made only 27 same amount of shots on 72 attempts, so 37.5 percent, 9 for 22 on three, 7 for 14 on free throws, 39 rebounds in the game. They barely out rebounded Illinois. They had 17 assists, which is less than the opponent. 10 steals, which is more than Illinois. 3 blocks, which is one less than Illinois. 15 turnovers, which is way less than Illinois. And 15 fouls. So some of this makes sense on how come they really lost the game. Well, UCLA only had 15 points off the bench compared to UCLA's 21. So that's got to be part of the reason besides them not UCLA not making shots and UCLA not defending. So who does UCLA play next? Well, they have to play number five, Baylor. That's right. They actually lost to Virginia on Sunday at 4.30 p.m. Central Time on ESPN. Then they play Pepperdine. That's currently 3-1, and one, but, you know, that could be misleading on the record. Then they'll play Bella. Bella or I, or me, or something like that. On the 27th at 6 p.m. and the following game after that, after this tournament, is Stanford, and they're two and two. So, as for Illinois, they obviously played Virginia, and both teams are unbeaten. So, somebody has to lose their first game. Then they play. Lindenwood, in theory, they should win that game. In theory, they should. And they have Syracuse as their ACC Big Ten Challenge on the 29th. And then they play Maryland, and who's currently unbeaten themselves. So, if Illinois is not, if both teams are unbeaten until that point, somebody has to lose their first game. That is if that really happens. Anyways, I just want to Break down how come the number eight UCLA men's basketball lose to number nineteen Illinois. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. That's gonna be the point of subscribers and more by the end of this year or sometime in the future.